All right, hello and welcome everybody to yet another tabletop testing video here on the Dead Draw Gaming channel. I am actually, and joining me is the one and only Sky. Sky, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, excited to be here. Heck yeah, very excited. Sky, very good. Uh, sort of Chicago local, now goes back and forth to and from Chicago, but uh, very skilled player, has been playing for a really long time. Mm -hmm. Lots of previous worlds as a senior, and then recently this season you've gotten top 16 at San Antonio. And then most recently you got, what is it, 8-1 at LA start? Yeah, uh, top 16 at San Antonio with Blocklax, and then... No, I no, went, no, that was uh, Rapid. Oh, wait, with Rapid, other way around. <laughs> uh, top 16 at San Antonio with Rapid Strike, yeah. and 8-1 out of day one in LA with um, Block Snorlax. Yeah, very cool stuff. Very skilled gamer here for sure, and we are going to be testing a matchup of Raging Bolt Ogre Pond, the deck that is all the rage right now versus Charizard EX, a deck that is not all the rage, but I think you should be seriously prepared for and just like be expecting for uh, just hitting it at NAIC. So pretty interesting matchup. There's a lot of stuff to go over. This is a pretty standard Raging Bolt Ogre Pond list. Uh, do you want to go over some of your choices for your list? Um, for the Zard list, I am playing cards like Unfair Stamp and Kieran rather than like Prime Catcher or Maximum Belt. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of lists going for the damage output, especially for a matchup like Raging Bolt, where it matters, um, where it could matter quite a bit. But yeah. I think Zard having access to things like Arvin for Unfair Stamp can prove to be really strong. For sure. Uh, my aspect for this deck is the Prime Catcher, by the way. But you're also including the Canceling Cologne tech for yes. this and some other stuff, right? Yes. I've got a mulligan. All right. Cool. I'll be going second, by the way. We we rolled ahead of time. But uh, yeah, what is the, what is the Canceling Cologne before? Uh, the Canceling Cologne is mostly, well, it does help against Mimikyu, but it is mostly for the corner, Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pawn. Uh, this deck doesn't really have any efficient answers to it. I know a lot of people are playing either Hearthflame Mask Ogre Pawn or Gouging Fire. Mm -hmm. I've opted for the Canceling Cologne because starting either Hearthflame Mask or Gouging Fire doesn't usually end yeah. very well. <laughs> uh, I remember very fair. playing against a Dragapult and starting Gouging Fire and being like, wow, now I have to find Turo. Mm -hmm. And it did not feel very good. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. Let's see if we can get some Pokemon going here. Trying our best. It's not looking great. <laughs> cool. Alright, and you're going first. All right. So go for it. Hoping to top deck something good. <laughs> I'll pass. Oh no. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh I think. Uh, I guess I should probably conceal cards first here. Well, I should Earthen Vessel for... Uh, well, I'm debating. I don't know if I'm going to end up squawking this here or not. I have a Prime Catcher, so I don't really want to squawk this if I if I don't have to. But it's very... So my hand's mostly energy, by yeah. the way. <laughs> I feel like it makes sense to... Well, if your hand is mostly energy... Yeah. Hmm. It's just a Prime Catcher kind of messing everything up here. <laughs> but also with this start, I'm probably just chilling anyway. Yeah. So... I feel like you could definitely lead with a Conceal. I um, think it's pretty safe. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll do that. I got gear and grass energy, so mm -hmm. definitely good odds of getting something this turn. So I'm going to go ahead and nest ball. I think I'm probably just going to go... Well, I can't get the attack with this hand right now either. Let me show my prizes. Again, this is a testing match, so... We may take back some actions. We'll do things you won't normally see during a match, like checking your prize cards yes. when you're doing your first deck search, stuff like that. Uh, these are this is a matchup we both have not really tested or thought uh -huh. like super hard about. So we may go back and forth and decide better plays after we already kind of like started on one of them. So just a heads up, nothing too wild here in the prizes. I'm gonna go and shuffle that up. So yeah, the thing with this hand is I can't uh, I can't get the attack off with leading ninja. But I'm also not pressed to get the attack off. Yeah. So I don't think it's worth it to squawk here. Oh, no, I have Prime Catcher. I have Prime Catcher. Yes, you but do. I can't get the attack off with Prime Catcher because I can only do 140. Right. <laughs> uh, hmm. So if you grab something like a Teal Mask Ogre Pond. Yeah, I think, I think it's better just to play it slower here. For yeah. Sure. I, I mean, think... you know there's nothing happening on my board right now. Yeah. I'm... Do I even want a Vessel here then? Like, ju it does thin out energies, but... Uh, I don't want all these energies in my hand, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe I just don't Vessel yet. Going to shuffle up. Definitely some very interesting starts here. Yeah, this sure. is really weird. Um, 
I guess starting it with a bunch of energy isn't that abnormal with this list. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, you play uh, 14. 14, yeah. Yeah, 3 fighting, 3 lightning, 8 grass. Mm -hmm. This matchup's pretty interesting. Charizard should generally be favored into it, but the cornerstone Ogre Pond does throw kind of a wrench in it because you have very few options to deal with that. That's what that cologne yeah. is for. The fact that you can always one-shot everything in my deck um, tends to help out. Teal Mask? Or, sorry, Teal Dance? I got more energy. <laughs> Probably just poke your into an Iono. I would certainly appreciate that. Uh, maybe I should Vessel then if I'm going to do that. Hmm. Or I just hit it. Yeah. I think we just hit. Would definitely be punished if you Ooh. hit the Sada here. Are you playing it? Yeah, I'm going to end up playing it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Mana Thief has not what you ever like to see. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't even feel bad about Ionoing, even though now I know your hand because you could have had like three Arvids in your hand or something. This I had no true. way of knowing. Uh, very easily could have been salvaged with any decent supporter or out to supporter in your hand. So, and then did I want to attach or anything before I play the Iano? Hmm. No, I don't think I do. Actually, I think I, I do want to discard. A lightning sure. to get it in there. And then probably just fail it to save the energy. Is that worth How many vessels does this list run? Four. Four? Yeah. Heck yeah. Sorry. Right, right. I'm not going to shuffle it again because I'm not going to grab anything. So yeah. Ayana. Mm -hmm. So now I have two energy in there for next turn and we'll be chilling. When we do the Professor Sada's Vitality. Ah, man. These are gross cards. Nest Ball. It's kind of weird being like a turn ahead here with me, or a turn ahead of you, but I'm not getting the attack off, which mm -hmm. kind of neutralizes that advantage because now I'm still going to have to go down like a 1 2 2 1 prize map, most likely. <laughs> yeah, as long as I get down a couple of Charmanders this next turn, it kind of balances out. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab a bolt then and just attach to it for turn. You definitely still have bravery charms and such. So. Exactly, yeah. Bravery charms are your, your key for kind of fixing a lot of the weird things that can happen in this matchup. Um, Namely, Charizard just one-shotting your stuff. If you can prevent that in an early game, if you can just, like, stop a two-price knockout any one of your turns, you're probably just winning the game. Yeah. So, at least from the Raging Ogre Bolt side. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and attach that there, and then I will pass. Okay. I will draw for turn. This hand is altogether looking okay. Okay. That's better than bad. <laughs> I'll bench Charmander, and then I'll play Arvin. Okay. Pretty standard Arvin here. Probably just going to grab Poffin. And um, the tools that I play in my deck right now, hmm, playing in definitely an interesting list. We currently only play the Forest Seal Stone. As your tool? Yeah. Gotcha. Might consider something like a Defiance Band in here. For sure, for sure. Um, it definitely feels a little less important in this format. Mm -hmm. uh, I will go ahead and use Buddy Buddy Poffin. Let's grab a Pidgey. And let's grab the 60 HP Charmander. Yeah, I guess def Defiance Band could definitely help in this matchup, too. Yes, absolutely. To deal with the charm stuff, you can get a knockout a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. uh, starting Mana Fee, honestly, if I'm going to start something bad, is probably yeah. optimal, because uh, your deck isn't ever going to play any bench sniping of any sort, yep. so you will need to hit your one boss or your prime catcher. Uh, I don't know this, but you did just Iono it to the bottom, mm -hmm. although you did Nest Ball. I did shuffle, ball, so... Right? Um, but those aren't really searchable cards as easily as you might think. Yeah. I mean, boss is findable with any of your four pokey gears. Three now. Um, and I'll just attach to... Actually, let's attach to the Heat Tackle Charmander. Sure. And then I'll pass. Yep. Drop a turn. Okay, pretty interesting. <laughs> uh, I think I just want to play the stop here. So I could sod, I could boss here. Uh, boss... On Pidgey, it always sounds good, I think. Do you have a switch card in hand? That's the thing, is I'd have to hit something off of this Pokestop. So, that's why I'm thinking I just play this Pokestop first, and then just see what we get, and then sure. go from there. Let's go and use that Pokestop. Bam, bam, bam. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> not ideal. Not at all. In fact, I might not even be able to get an attack off this turn if I don't hit something off this Sada. Do I, does that mean I oh, poke here? No energy or Nestwell here? Yeah, nothing. Well, Pokey Pokey Gear just to maximize my odds. <laughs> Pokey Gear can only find you Sadas. At this point, right. if you have the boss in hand, then Pokey Gear can only find you Sadas. Right, but it's just like fine because you're 
almost never <laughs> ionoing me with this board mm -hmm. state. You're probably just playing Arvin. Yeah. So I should be fine. Just do this. Okay, so I grab a Sada. So now I have a Sada for next turn. Yeah, um, and, and Ethan that one out. Yeah, and I didn't reveal it too, so mm -hmm. you don't so, know that that's my second Sada in my mm -hmm. hand now. So you went from having a bunch of energy in hand to not seeing a single I, one. Uh, that's Iano is it's funny. It's crazy how it Jeez. works. <laughs> yeah, if I get one energy card, um, we're totally fine. I can attack at least. If I get two, then we're chilling because then I can conceal cards too, which would be quite nice. I'll go ahead and Sada the Lightning Energy onto my Raging Bolt. Draw three. All right, we got some stuff. We're chilling now. So, I think. How much energy? I still have plenty of energy in the deck. Absolutely. I'm trying to think if I want to s vessel before bug catcher. Uh, mm. Yeah, yeah, I always vessel here first. And I think it's fine to get rid of the energy if yeah. I get. Uh, mm. Is no, it? No, because there's no guarantee. <sighs> I feel like... Because I, I want three energy total this turn, because yeah. I can Teal Dance, Retreat, and Concealed. Mm -hmm. But Bug Catching Scent could find you more sources for Teal Dance. Yeah. Uh, I guess it kind of depends on what's in your hand. It's like all stuff that I kind of... How many rods are in the list? Uh, just one. Just, I don't really want to burn that. I feel like yet. I would Bug Catching Scent then first. See if you find any grass Just see if energy. I get more stuff, yeah. Right. Alternatively, you could just Teal Dance. Yeah. You know what? That's, prob I'm, that's probably correct then, yeah, because... Ideally, I want to get more Teal Dances off the Bug Catching yes. Set. So if I can just get something that I can discard off the Teal Dance or something, mm -hmm. that'd yeah. be pretty cool. Discarding with Vessel to find Fighting Lightning. Right. So Teal Dance. Okay, I got another Sada. <laughs> oh. I you think... do play Pal Pad. It does? Yes. Ooh. Uh, I think I'm going to do that, then. <laughs> that probably seems fine. Vessel. I'm going to grab a Grass and probably a Lightning. Yeah. That way, if you hit an Ogre Bond off the Bug Catching set, you I can, take can draw with it, it yeah. even if you don't hit another Grass Energy. Yeah, we might actually be pretty close to wanting to Rod soon, too. Yeah. Probably still not doing it this turn, but soon. For mm. sure. One thing in this matchup is that you can like save your Rod for Cornerstone, mm -hmm. uh, which is an interesting line, but you've already established two two prizes on board, so it's not necessarily Conceal cards? as good of an idea. Right. Okay, I got Retrieval. That's pretty useful. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and do a bug catching set. I always got to remember it's seven cards. <laughs> yeah, seven cards and then two in any combination of grass Pokemon and basic grass energy. We just got the one ogre pawn. So that Rachel. wrestling for that grass energy definitely pays off. For sure, for sure. Ideally, you draw another Raging Bolt here. Or a switch card. Yeah. You you did attach for turn to the Raging Bolt, yeah. Uh, no, that was, a, oh, that was last turn. I sawed it to it for the other energy. Hmm. And then attach the lightning. I attached this last turn manually, and okay. then saw the lightning. Yes. Teal dance. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of energy attachments to keep track of with this deck. Yeah. You do still have your <laughs> manual retreat then. Okay, so I did get prime catcher. <laughs> so I think this is just KO Pidgey here. Although, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I don't necessarily disagree with that. Just getting that Pidgey out offline can fix... So, it just like, mm -hmm. makes it so much harder for you to, one, get set up, two, get that Cologne, which Absolutely. I might not know you have at this point. But yeah. uh, don't feel pressured. I'll get the Pidgey. Yes. Don't feel pressured to play the Bravery Charms yet either. Um, although, do I just charm these already? Because you technically can get there. Although it's hard with the Pidgey out mm -hmm. gone, but... Is that worth it? I'm not sure. There's three charms total, right? Mm-hmm. The most important thing is I just want to have one for my bolt. Yeah. For not this turn, but the next turn. Absolutely. I think I can just bang on you not mm -hmm. getting the Gus KO here. Okay. Pretty safely. So I'm going to Bellowing Thunder. With one energy. Okay. Take my one prize card. All right. I'll draw for turn. All right. I have a really good play here. All right. Really big fan of this. I'll use Luminous Sign. Um, this is not my first deck search of the game, but I did forget to check my prizes off the last <laughs> one. Um, I'm going to carry out a pretty interesting play here. Ooh. I'll grab Kieran. Um, I will use Kieran's second effect, so I'll do 30 more oh, damage to no. your EXs and active <laughs> Vs during your turn. I'll attach my four Seal Stone that I found right. last turn. And I will use Star Alchemy. Star Alchemy is going to grab me a rare candy. I'll go ahead and grab a Charizard EX. Mm -hmm. Use Infernal Rain. Search my deck for 
Let's go with two fires, and then just for safety's sake, let's put one in the Radiant Charizard. Okay. And then, to top it off, unfair <laughs> stuff. That's really bad. So you not attaching the Bravery Charm to actually your Raging Bolt, oddly enough. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, hi, Wednesday. Hello, I, I did not anticipate the, the Kieran play coming down here. I just was like, oh, you surely have to Arvin or something mm -hmm. to get... More Pokemon rolling here. Yeah, I ran for Sealstone and had the Lumini on in hand. Yeah, I was not expecting the, the Lumi ready to rock, too. I was actually planning to Pokestop to see if I hit Ultra Ball or Rare Candy, but then <laughs> I top deck the Charizard EX. Amazing. I uh, I, f I always forget that these Ogre Ponds are like, really important in this matchup for dealing mm -hmm. with the Zards. It would have been better to get rid of this energy. Yes, I agree. So I'll draw five, and you'll And I also could have two. retrieval to get more grass like preemptively just for the unfair stamp scenario. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with you. All right. So I'll discard, I'll, I'll discard the Karen. Uh, just because it's been used for the turn. Yep. Set these down. Um, let's go ahead and nest ball. Hmm. I do believe I prized my second Pidgey. No. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab our good friend Bidoof. Makes sense. Unfortunately, 70 HP due to the threat of Dragapult. Um... It does have two retreat, which makes it feel a lot worse in the Charizard deck, but you do have Kieran. Kieran is actually a switching card as well as that damage modifier. Yeah, pretty good. I have found that to be helpful on many occasions. Yeah, Kieran's switchability is so nice. Not even just for stuff like this, but also oh, my apologies. against control. Back really, in. really strong. Um, hmm. Is it better to Ultra Ball for Charmeleon or ultra save the Ultra Ball for Viveral next turn? What's your hand like? Is it, um, is well, I'm like? going to be discarding Charmander Iono, and I have Roxanne. I think with the Roxanne in hand, I think you just get the Charmeleon. All right. I'll, I'll troll all the way Because the odds of that Iono. Roxanne activating are pretty high here. And let's grab Charmeleon. Yeah, that's why I'm discarding Iono over Roxanne. Yeah. I'll grab Charmeleon. That'll let me, uh, even without the Pidgey in play, set up for um, a big knockout back onto the Teal Mask over mm -hmm. Pond. Combined with Roxanne and a potential blue barrel, and I'll use Burning Darkness uh, with the benefit from Kieran to do 240. All right. Promote Ogre Pond? Pretty good turn, I'd say. Pretty good. Draw for turn. Hmm. So I need to sequence this. I, I just started the focus up here mm -hmm. for sure. Very Ooh, nice. Oh, that's really good. All right. So I at least have a response to this Charizard. Now, the scary thing about is what's going to happen next turn, because mm -hmm. I take out this Charizard. I don't know you're going to Roxanne me, but you're going to Roxanne me. Yes. But then you can start using this as soon as next turn if you want to. Absolutely. Uh, and if you respond with that, then I need to boss for the next turn to actually get my two prize knockout, which will probably be on this, unless you're able to get rid of that as well next turn. So uh, I would probably... Yeah, the counter Storm Ogre Pond is not going to... I mean, it can be relevant in this game, I guess, but probably don't really worry about it here. Yeah. Uh, so I guess I still want to get a... Do I even care about Bolt at this point? I do, because I need to knock that out. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so... Also, Teal Mask Ogre Pond cannot knock out Radiant Charizard, so if you leave only those in play, I'll probably attack Radiant Right, yeah, Charizard that's that's the turn. scary thing. So I'm going to Energy Retrieval. I think I'm just going to grab two Grass here. That seems right. So I think so. I have Palpad. I, 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 am I starting with this? I guess. Mm. So I want a Vessel potentially. I have Ultra Ball to get a Mon, but mm -hmm. I really don't want to discard a lot of these cards in my hand. So I think I'm going to Palpad first, and then draw some cards and see what happens. Sure. Try to get the Sada locked up. Yeah, you can put back two Sadas here. So yeah, prizing second Pidgey feels bad, but at least <laughs> Bibarel's here to help out. Exactly. You're chilling. You're chilling. I have really loved the 1-1 Bibarel in Zard lately. Mm -hmm. um, I recently played Zard to a challenge. I went 3-2 off of um, a couple of key uh, misses of cards, but Bibarel was, Bidoof was prized every game, and I was <laughs> like, this card always matters. Amazing. Uh, oh, this is, how much grass energy do I have left in deck? I have all of it, right? Yeah, so I have, I have. Oh, no, two are prized. Ooh. I have one in deck. So I have to be careful then. Well, yeah, so you should definitely teal dance the active first and see what you find. Yeah, teal dance. Okay, I got the Sada. 
Uh, I just need to get card advantage here then, so I can discard more stuff. So conceal cards. Okay, that's pretty good. Do you have that last grass energy in hand? I have a vessel. Oh, okay. So we're fine. This makes sense. I think I'm going to go ahead. I can also raw to get even more grass down. True. Although you only have one grass in there. Yeah, so... Uh, I mean, I probably want the other energy, though. Well... So that's three, four, you are two are, prized. Are you ever not responding with Radzard this next turn? Um, hmm. I don't think so, right? I think there, you always... There is a word. I mean, it's totally safe for me to just respond with Charizard EX. Yeah, you have you have time. So I would, I guess, yeah, because my, my thing is, like, maybe I should just get the other grass in the deck just yeah. to have the option had to respond with this. Yeah, I think my line here is generally going to be to attack with the next Charizard. Mm -hmm. Um just because Radiant Charizard can one shot through Bravery Charm no matter what. Yeah. So So I think I go ahead and so yeah. Lightning, lightning, fighting, fighting. Maybe just one of each then. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go ahead and earth and vessel the switch card. Mm-hmm. I think I just grabbed two grass there. I'm going to do my other teal dance before I ultra ball. Can I? Wait, can I? Yeah. Wait. I can't teal dance. I have to attach. Oh, I should. I should grab. You have your second then. teal dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, so, uh, if I so I have a fifth card in hand. Mm -hmm. I have to Ultra Ball something. Because <laughs> I need. it's going to end up being I attach one of the grasses, and then I Ultra Ball the other energy in the boss to oh, Sada. Sure. Yes. So, Are you sure that getting rid of that boss is the right idea? Is the right idea? I mean, I need to... I mean, I think I sur ha surely you Teal Dance for one more card. Well, no, because there's no, no good discards. cards. Yeah, it's like net yeah, neutral. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why maybe I want to keep the grass in deck then. Sure. Being down boss here definitely feels really bad. How many bosses are in the list? One. Are you serious? Yes. We actually need it, though. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so I do... So then I think you just grab two grass, and then you teal dance, and then you Sada next turn. It's not a but great... But then I, I don't have a guaranteed attack, though. No, you, I grab need to the, attach. you grab the two grass with Earth and the Vessel, you teal dance with the one you attach here. Yeah, I still have to ult discard something. So if this, if this is a grass... You don't have to use Ultra Ball. Oh, just just don't do it. Yeah, just don't. I guess I have it for next turn. Yeah, you're right. Like you don't want to lose that boss. Yeah, yeah, the boss is too important. I can just try to hit it. With with if especially Pokestop stays in play, I can easily get the bolt and then all the energy. Oh, do I grab the grass then, or do I lock up the other energy I need so I have guaranteed Sada? Well, you don't know what's going on in my hand yet. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But regardless, like just trying to think. <laughs> what the safest play is for next turn. Yeah. I guess, yeah, just, let's just let the Teal Dance decide. Teal Dance. Or do you want to catch that? I'll tap. Okay, that's chill. All right. So I'll just attach. And then I will Myriad Leaf Shower for right. Knockout. Um, hmm. I'm trying to remember if I prized any energy. I've committed four so far. So mm -hmm. I would have to have two energy prized for that to matter. I think I would prefer to attack with Radiant Charizard yeah, here. Yeah, that makes sense. Especially because you're Roxanne anyway. Yes. Drop yeah, from, from my play, this is probably the correct line because I, I, without Pidgeot up and without even Bibarel, like guaranteed, I just assume you're not going to Roxanne me. <laughs> yeah. I'll use Infernal Rain. Put one energy here. Yep. Put one energy here. Oh, and then I'll be going back in. Yeah. And I'll use Roxanne. Drawing Pidgey off the prizes was definitely very nice. <laughs> okay, so I also have the Charizard as a boss target, too, which is cool. Right. But I'm putting it in play because basically I'm pinning you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so your best line is probably going to be using a Raging Bolt. I still have the Raging Bolt here, yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess the problem is like you can't Raging Bolt and knock out the Charizard here. Right. So, I mean, you could just put down Cornerstone Mask. And then hope it buys you a turn to do mm -hmm. what you need to do. Um. Yeah, you don't have Iona left, so I guess that's not really going to work. Um. Let's 
Alterol away Poffin and Enhanced Hammer, a card that is definitely not getting used in this matchup. And I'll grab the barrel. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I guess the angle is like find boss, um, bring up the barrel, and then uh, do something like play down Cornerstone. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll beaver for two. Uh, and then I will use Combustion Blast for the knockout. Okay. Draw for turn. Whew. I almost have to wonder if you need to take the one prize knockout in this matchup. Yeah, maybe you just don't. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, I have Kieran. But, like, yeah. if you can... If you can s protect... Um, boss. A bolt. Well, that's pretty nice. Uh, potentially. <laughs> Depends on whether or not you see Cornerstone here, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's probably correct to just do like just start maybe with like cornerstone stalling stuff honestly yeah uh give or at least like to... immediate like even after first knockout <laughs> go into it immediately and just yeah. have that ready give yourself a chance to get set up yeah i'll tap focus up Ooh, well there's cornerstone yeah nest ball provided it is in the deck it isn't there Nice. So, yeah, this, this is just buying me time then, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's specifically the combination of boss plus cornerstone. Yeah. Ideally with an energy, but if you don't have energy, then... I do not have energy. That cornerstone stance ability. Boss. Zard. Oh, Zard. Is it not Zard? It's the barrel, I think. A boss wins me the game if True. you give me Zard here. Yeah. Bib. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this is still a really bad situation. For yes, you. it is. <laughs> like, either way, you're not really accomplishing anything. Right. Yeah, like, my... No, no, no. So my out is charm... No, but I, that's my last boss, so now I just lose. Right. Because my, my out would be bolt with charm yeah. knockout. So what if actually we leave Radiant Charizard in the active? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need and to just, just don't play the boss. Hope, yeah. And then you would set up and then give it a, well, yeah, like a couple turns. You yeah. put Bravery Charm on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you passing? Yeah. Cool. All righty. Um, let's Ultra Ball. Uh, I'll get rid of Charmeleon and Poffin. Let's grab Pidgeot. Um, I'll rare candy into Pidgeot. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, I am ahead on prizes, so quick search cannot get me what I really want here, which is right. an out to game. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can't retreat with the Zard, so... Go ahead and quick search. Um, actually, it's technically optimal to Beaver for one before I quick search. Sure, just in case you hit it. Yeah, because I'm not really burning any cards. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to get a card that makes my game plan a little easier. Something like a Collapse Stadium. Because I still have Turo and Palpat in deck. Right. So I will always be able to move this, move something eventually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure like when to use this early on. I feel like Cornerstone's an early game type of thing. Sure, but then like mm. you're probably getting your... I, I guess its only purpose is to prevent the first knockout. I'll use Pokestop. Yeah. Wonderful. There you go. All right. Um, I'll use Quick Search. You just need the energy, right? Uh, no, I actually just need Turo Cologne. No, that works too. So yeah, because energy was Turo retreat scenario, Cologne. Also like canceling works. Cologne and Burning Darkness for the knockout. Cool. All right, so let's try let's try the other approach then, on my end. Yeah. And see how that goes, which I'm pretty sure is like the normal way you're supposed to do this. So we have illustrated. Bombardier you play into the Charizard player's hands. This is yeah. it's funny too because this is kind of like the the strategy and the line you would take uh, like Roaring Moon of two formats ago, mm -hmm. where you're totally fine taking that first knockout with the one prize or um, or taking the first one prize knockout, but you're usually doing that with a one prize of your own. Yeah. So when you're doing it with this, it's way scarier. <laughs> yeah, something like Morpeko or uh, trying to think of another matchup for this as an example. Um, hmm. 
Or like if you can take a knockout with like just your Radiant Greninja on board mm -hmm. as Chan Pao. There are definitely a couple of matchups where it's like actually taking the one prize with a two prize against Zard is a bad idea. Yeah, for sure. Because it's still not, ultimately it's still making me win in three attacks. Yeah. Regardless. The, the thing that's still weird is just when the Rad Zard comes into play. Yeah, I mean if you got a turn one attack there, that's a completely different game. Uh, yeah, but you also whiffed turn one. So, like, if we both didn't whiff our turn ones, mm -hmm. then it would have been the same. That's game, very right? true. Yeah. But I was going first. Zard doesn't sure, love going sure. first. Like, uh, let's I'll, go, say, I'll, go, I'll go second again. Yeah. Let's say I start Lone Charmander inactive, and, like, I don't have another Charmander for the turn, mm -hmm. and I'm risking it, right? That's a situation that happens with Zard a lot. Even though we play four Poffin, Nest Ball, four Ultra Ball. Like, sure. That happens a little more often than I'd love with this deck. <laughs> It's like for a deck that has some of the most like some of the most like raw power and consistency in this format, turn one definitely feels very hit or miss. For sure. Partially because now you can't always battle <laughs> VIP pass for Rota. <laughs> yeah. I was only very happy to have unfair stamp in that game. That was really nice, yeah. Uh, I do have a mulligan. Okay. I didn't take my free card last time. That's totally why I lost. Hmm. <laughs> Don't think so. Once again, I'm starting Prime Catcher in hand, which is cool. Yeah. But this is a much also, more like reasonable hand. Using your Prime Catcher on a one prizer. Yeah, that that is a mm. N only playing one boss and one prime catcher like, means that that becomes a much more valuable resource. Yeah, that so that line yes yeah, with more gusting resources is totally fine too. But yeah, like that that line probably works out for me more often than it doesn't because you probably don't always have the Luminion. Seal stone. Well, you, I knew you had this. You you normally yeah. have the seal stone there, but you wouldn't normally have Luminion and still get like a busted board set up regardless of Pidgeot not yeah. being down. You know. Oh, absolutely. Um, uh, especially like with my second Pidgey prize, yeah. like the odds that I just put a Zard in your face and then have a board set up that good. Yeah, it's I mean, a, it, there, was, there was risks to it, but I think it's still fine. Yeah, another Mulligan. Okay. <laughs> I tend to Mulligan a lot. Mm -hmm. Weirdly, with Zard, like Zard plays a lot of basics. It does. Um, and yet sometimes my deck just says no basics for you. Mm -hmm. I swear I've only gotten like less overall times with things like with like quad decks than I do with Zard. Yeah. I have had a quad deck where I made my opponent take nine mulligans before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were playing on like a simulator because normally Judge Ball ruling says um, it's got to be um, take my two after eight you call a judge over and right. you do the Judge Ball. Uh, but we were playing on, like, a simulator. I'll draw for turn. Pretty nice opening hand. Cool. Um, I'll play Buddy Buddy Poffin. Let's check my prizes. Ooh. Less nice. Somewhat rough. Yeah. Um, two Arvins in the prize cards. And Sealstone. And Sealstone. Not my favorite. Good thing we're starting with a Poffin and with a Charmander. And we know Barrel's not prized, so Badoof is fairly safe to bench. Would normally grab my Heat Tackle here, but that is prized as well. <laughs> Not a great game for my prize cards, mm -hmm. I'd say. But we can grab two Charmanges and a Pidgey. Totally safe from, um, well, extreme Prime Catcher threats. But our hand after that is not looking too good. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to bench Badoof here. Because being, being able to multiply our outs by drawing the barrel is a big deal. That's one thing I've noticed in this matchup. It's very difficult to put down Rotom, and a lot of Zard lists are no longer playing Cleffa, yeah. uh, as it's really weak to Dragapult. And with Cresselia back, and with uh, Monkey Dory and Garmy, yeah, it just destroys it. Cleffa is just a free prize card sometimes. <laughs> I'll go ahead and bench Badoof, and yeah. I'll pass. Looking pretty good. Draw for turn. Not that I drew an out to Rotom anyway. I have all Grass Hearts and two Poke Gears in hand. I have a Bug Catcher set. I think I'm going to gear first. It's going to be the bug catching set seven. <laughs> <laughs> it actually would have been, yeah. Very hard to it's decide. Grasses and yeah. Ogre Pond. Very hard to decide between those two cards. You're looking at the same amount of cards. It's just determining which one you think will help you more at a given right. moment. Right. Yeah. In theory, I'm thinning out supporters, which I... With the fact that I have two gears means I think using the gear first is correct. Because the odds of me getting the support I want are much higher than me getting the hmm. bug things I want, right? Yeah, for like bugging for two. Yeah, you play four teal mask ogre pawn and. Do I do I gear twice here then? Hmm. Well, you want. I, I might. I don't. I really don't want Iano. 
like last <laughs> like last game. So I think I just do it. Sure. Also, starting Manaphy twice. Why does my deck do this to me? <laughs> I got the Sada. I, that also would have been fine for Bug Catcher, but it's okay because I'm just going to hit double Ogre Pawn on my next. Surely this Bug Catching bug set catcher. is a very good Bug Catching set. Yeah, both of them weren't dub <laughs> double Ogre Pawns, which is the only thing I actually want. So, If not, it might be a Burst Roar type angle, uh, which I don't want to do now that I have the Sada. <laughs> you still play three in Palpat. That sure, is one thing. Sure. Saving your yeah. Palpat for boss in this matchup could potentially be very powerful. Yeah, Palpat for the Iono too. Very important. Very good. Okay. All right. Somewhere Bug catcher. These. Are there two ogre pawns? There's going to be zero in here now. <laughs> There's zero. I love thinning and not winning. <laughs> Looking like a burst roar. <laughs> See, but is it technically thinning? I mean... It is. You have six supporters in deck and only four ogre pawns. So, yeah, that is fair. Yeah. As long as one of them isn't boss, Just you're, unlucky. like, feeling okay here. Yeah. Now, the question is, would you Iona? That's the thing. Yeah, I probably do here. Sure. Maybe How many cards in hand? Four. Uh, the fact that you didn't put that Rota makes it, like, harder to want to Iono here. I'll tap. You might just cook me now. But this hand's, like, so bad. <laughs> well, you can either Iono or Burst Roar. I don't want to Burst Roar because I have Prime Catcher in hand. Ooh. And Rod. So yeah, think... it's probably... Oh, and Palpad. No, no Palpad. Oh, I thought it was Palpad. Sorry, yeah. Sun and Moon cards. <laughs> I think I just I don't know, I don't even attach sure. it. Yeah, my hand was um, Roxanne, Countercatcher, Super Odd Cologne. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, these are cards at least. Mm -hmm. Um I think Oh, this is probably just a squawk angle actually. Mm. Yeah. Squawk and Seize comes with its own risks, but... Yeah. But this is probably the right time to do it. If you can find a Bravery Charm, it just basically doesn't matter. Yeah, I got one in hand, so... Oh, very nice. Yeah. I could I could get through, like, 18 cards <laughs> this turn. Wow. With Squawk and Burst Roar. Pretty good. Which would pretty be good. pretty funny. I must, oh, uh, I, yeah, I grabbed Squawk. Yeah, I was like, did I grab anything off the Nest Ball? I feel like you're almost not going to want to burst roar though. Probably not. Teal dance. Uh, I don't want to discard it. Bravery charm. Nice. Yeah, that's big there. Squawk and seize. Bravery charm really important here because otherwise I could just. Do I want to motivate? Potentially. That is an idea. Actually, I don't hate it, but uh, that does make you weaker to Lost Vacuum. Plus Zard. Sure. You did just Iona me into it. I did just Iona you, but... That's interesting. I don't know. That might, might be correct. I mean, if I take the first two-prize knockout here. Right, you've got two two-prizers on board, and I can, yeah. I can probably break through your cornerstone. Okay, I'm going to... Attach return. Man, I cannot find Raging Bolts to save my life. <laughs> uh, you're not going to be able to gust this and KO it. Probably not. So I will pass. Return. Um, Let's Ultra Ball discarding a fire um, and hmm. actually this card Radiant Charizard. Okay. And Pidgey. Mm, and I don't want to grab Pidgey out here. I want to delay your ability to take the first knockout for as mm -hmm. long as possible. Especially because at some point I will f be able to find Vacuum Boss kill the Squawk ability. Sure, sure. So that's my line here. Um, so I don't want to establish a Charizard EX before then. So my ideal turn here is just attaching and... Oh, hello, Canceling Clone. <laughs> Goodbye, Canceling Clone. My ideal turn here is just attaching and getting a couple of Charmeleons in play. How many Switch cards are on this list? Two. Two. Mm. And the Prime Catcher. Got it. Uh, let's go ahead and attach to Charmander. And then I will Beaver for two. Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's not very good, <laughs> honestly. Um, I have two Zards and a candy in hand. But I almost feel like I would rather Iono here. Mm -hmm. I'm not guaranteed to hit anything that I actually want this turn. Like, next turn, I'm not guaranteed to hit the Knockout. Um, I don't even have a Pidgeot in hand. I think it's an Iono Angle. Okay. Play a little risky. Sure. This matchup feels good enough, and I'm up a game. <laughs> Some of those best of three strats really come up more often than you'd think. Where it's like, obviously, nobody wants to brick, but... Um, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away Rotom and Charmander. Got the barrel in play. I don't really feel the need to Rotom at this mm -hmm. point. Let's, however, establish one Charmeleon. Okay. Like I said, putting Rotom in play just opens me up more to giving you that two prize knockout. Yeah, this is interesting. So what do I do from my end then? I feel like you kind of take advantage of the situation and start establishing the cornerstone. Just work on it, yeah. There's no energy switches in this list, right? Uh, no. Okay. And then I'll pass. So yeah, cornerstone is a very manual setup thing. Draw for turn. Let's start with a teal dance. Got another ogre pond. No grasses though, so I can't use it. Uh, I want to ultra ball this energy so I can sada for two. Am I actually just getting rid of my other ogre pond here? No, I think it's got to be this. Yeah, Sada for two makes sense. You already have three two prizes in play. So I'll go ahead and get that Ogre Pawn. Mm -hmm. Do you want to discard the Retrieval? I have another one in hand. Ah. Do you have a Bolt in hand as well? Yeah. Cool. That's why it's like, I got an Ultra like, Ball here totally before I do anything else. Before I draw more cards, specifically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Bolt, Sada to those two. Oh, but now I have to draw into an energy to start attaching to this because I don't have any more energy. I'm sure it'll just work out. Mm. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Not the ideal risk, but <laughs> knowing you, you'd take that. Yeah, yeah no problem. Um, so this I want to charm this way later in the game, potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know I play Kieran Cologne. Oh, yeah, Kieran fixes this too. God, I wasn't thinking about the Kieran aspect. I can go ahead and bench the other Ogre Pond. Yeah. It's very important to mention you have Squawk Ability in play already, so. Yeah. So I have a Vessel. I think I just want to stop first, though. Sure. For Just to have more things to get. To, to discard here. Oof. Meh. Charm hurts. You only have one left. Yeah. Earthen Vessel. So I want to grab Fighting Grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, in order to kill the squawk, I do have to find a boss. Mm -hmm. Like, I have to find boss vacuum. So, it's either cologne vacuum or boss vacuum, and cologne vacuum is arguably easier to find. Yeah. So, I'm going to attach for turn there. Mm -hmm. Thinking about teal dancing again? I guess again. so, yeah. Teal dance. Mm -hmm. How many cards in hand? Three. Okay, so once again, I can reach if I want to. <laughs> I would not. I mean, it seems fine, but I have Charmeleon established. So I could reach on the Charmeleon. Right. Um. Actually, do you have a Volt attack here? I just retreat into this. Oh, for one. Yeah. Is that worth your two energy? I mean... I think that's fine, but it's it, okay. it, is a, it is a risk. And the alternative is I just do nothing here, right? Yeah, I mean, how aggressive do you want to play this? All right, so let's just, let's just talk through what will happen if I pass here, right? So it goes to your turn. Mm -hmm. Let's say you get your Pidgeot and your Char Charizard, and then you need to get a two-prize knockout, right? Right. So you need to gust around this guy. Mm -hmm. So let's say you have to get Kieran and Gust, basically, right. to actually get a knockout here, which mm -hmm. is kind or, of a lot. Yeah, or Vacuum Gust. Or Vacuum Gust, sure. As opposed to, if you let me promote the Charmander, you attack with a Raging Bolt, like, Bravery Charm or not, there is a chance that I just hit Candy Kieran. 
I'm less concerned. Mm, yeah. But the thing is, like, what if you just don't attack again next turn? Well, that's <laughs> true. Because you could just not... You could wait until you're, like, fully set up if I just keep passing when you're... when, when we're in this kind of checkmate scenario. Right. So I think getting the Charmeleon is probably going to give you the most outs here. I mean, I am down to Ultra Ball. Yeah. But Big Barrel, though. That's your entire draw right now. Mm -hmm. But I also have a three-card hand, and I haven't played anything down from it. Exactly, but you can get more there. Right. You might but have a dead hand. Again, like Charizard plus Luminion, or Charizard Candy yeah, Pidgeot. Yeah, you have Luminion. Um, you also have not actually seen that I play no offensive tools. True, true. But like, so... Because yeah, if I, if I just don't attack here, you could just wait until I do, right? Right. Which is not good. <laughs> so yeah, I almost want to say gusting the Charmeleon. I think, yeah, I think I think that's probably just what I have to do here. Mm -hmm. I can't just not attack forever, and I just gotta hope this buys me the turn later. Yeah. So give me that. I'll promote this and retreat. Mm -hmm. Bellowing Thunder. Uh, get rid of the Lightning. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get rid of two, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Um... I guess the grass, too. Yeah. I'll promote Manaphy. Draw for turn. I'll attach. Um, let's boss the Ogre Pond with the energy. Okay. And then I will Beaver for three. Ooh. Pokestop. No. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> oh, this is terrible, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is not looking super winnable <laughs> at the moment. That Ayano was too risky. Yeah. I, mean, I don't think Candy's Art would have helped me much there either. I didn't draw into any of these cards. Sure. It would have been like the Pidgeot. Well, no. Pidgeot no, no, because Candy's Art's all you need here. Yeah. To at least catch, keep up. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll just pass. All right. Draw for turn. Retrieval. Get back those. Uh, maybe I just get two grass here and start swinging with the ogre pawn. If I go down to two prizes and I attach the charm, you still need some damage modifier. Yeah. So I think I just do that then. My hand's really dead. That's why. <laughs> uh, Teal Dance. I poke us up too. I didn't think about that, but. You probably don't want to use it. Yeah, because I don't want to get rid of more supporters of, here. Huge risk. Myriad Leaf Shower. Okay. Uh, I'll promote Charmander now for sure. Go ahead and super rod. Um, I'll give back two Charmanders. And then I will Poffin for both of them. Yep. Because uh, my last Charmander is pressed. I need these. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and shuffle. You don't want to grab the Charizard EX. Oh, uh, that's true, actually. So I'll grab the Charizard EX. Sure. Shuffle it in. Oh, I just realized that the GameStop Charmanders, you're gaming. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the hollow regular, though. Like oh. the hollow Obsidian Flames one, because I never bought that box. Um, let's go ahead and attach to this Charmander. Uh, big barrel for two. All right, well, this is not perfect, but it is possible. Okay. Um, now, do I quick search for Charizard? Do you have the rare candy in hand? No. Mm, just sort of next turn? Yeah. I need, uh, you don't, I guess you don't necessarily know that my hand is nothing, but you know what? If I had a sod, I would have played it, right? But so. I feel like I pokey stop here. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> this, this deck doesn't like me right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess we candy pitch out. I don't know. Yeah. Quick search. I don't know. Sure. One candy or one ultra ball. Honestly, those discards aren't the worst. Yeah, losing the rock sand kind of hurts too. Yeah, but, but I play Palpad. Oh, you'll be fine. It's like probably the most okay thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, and then I'll play the Iona. Yep. Actually, let's burn the Poffin first. Sure. I can also still double Radiant Charizard this game. Exactly, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, if you get down to like a single prize board too. Oh, you can't now because you lost. Cl cl oh, you have Turo. You have Turo. Yeah, if you can get down to a single prize board, not this ne uh, soon, you'll be fine. Unfair Sim after Ayano? Well, I don't have anything good in my hand. That's fair. Yeah, if, again, if you do take the two prize knockout here, you're in an okay position potentially. Yes. You're at least Show keeping up, and then once Rad Zard will carry. There's three candies and three Zards in here. Show me <laughs> candy <Zard. laughs> We only play Unfair Stamp after Iono because we need the cards. Unfair Stamp is a draw card. <laughs> <laughs> this is not this is not looking good. Uh let's go with Blazing Destruction. Yep. Discarding your Pokestop. Alright. Draw for turn. I will teal dance. Am I teal dancing again? I wanna attach do I even care about attach no, I don't care about attaching to that anymore then. I don't think so at least, right? I don't think so. Satch there. I'm going to hold the energy. I'm going to mirrored leaf shower. Yep. I'll promote Pidgeot. Draw for turn. So uh, it was the next card. <laughs> <laughs> um, So you're down Prime Catcher. You yep. probably only have one boss or like, I don't know if you aren't playing Pokemon Catchers or not. You're not, but sure. I don't know that. Um. We definitely need to super out back three fires because we are down several. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're down four already. So let's get back three fires. Um, and then I think we quick search for Radiant Charizard. Oh, wait. Uh, we need two fire Radiant Charizard because Radiant Charizard's in the discard. At the yeah. moment. Um, do we have enough energy to win this game? <laughs> we have two. In discard right now. Okay. So we should have exactly enough. Uh, yeah, I'll shuffle back Radiant Charizard. Okay. Um, two in discard, four total. So we need to attack with Zard here. And then Iona. Uh, Infernal Rain. Yep. Oh, actually, I forgot I've missed energy in this list. So yeah, here we quick search for Hmm, what's the right order to do this in? Oh yeah, I see. Radiant Charizard. Yep. Evolve. Uh and then I'll use Infernal Rain. Yep. So let's go with two here and one here. Actually, it's good like that. Sure. Just depends on what I want to attack with in the next couple turns. Just leave the option open for another. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have the attachment for turn in hand, but I don't want to use that. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, this is safe, right? Because we have the mist and then the one attachment to. For his Radzard. Yeah. Yeah. So this. That's is fair. Safe. Yeah. Um, let's use Buddy Poffin. Uh, I have enough cards to where I don't think I need Canceling Cologne anymore. Makes sense. Um, actually, let's optimize this. Burn more cards for Sure, hand. candy. And then I'll shuffle. I mean, this Charizard is never coming up, but Candy yeah. pins a card. Oh, Gotta maximize Nest Ball the barrel. Here? I did have Nest Ball. So what I should be doing is I should be quick searching for the nest ball. This is a long sequence of undos, <laughs> but I think you get the point. Quick search for nest ball, rare candy, Charizard, double fire, single fire. Yep. Now you're trying to draw into the mist, right? Right. I don't need to draw into the mist. I just need to draw an Iono. Like mist or Iono helps yeah. a lot here. Uh, Iono, definitely a lot riskier, but makes things possible. My last card in hand is a fire energy, so I'm not going to play it. And I will Industrious Incisors for four cards. And of course, as usual, we don't draw anything we want. Um, Rats are time. Is it Rats are time? It is not Rats are no, time. No, no, it's, it's regular Zard time. It's regular Zard time, because yeah. then at least we have Rats are like Countercatcher, for example. 
as a route into your uh, raging bolt with the energy on it, with the both energy on it. Uh, is there a good pal pad target here? What's in my discard? Uh, we definitely want the boss, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's boss Ayana. Sure. Yeah, having two Arvin fries this game is not doing me any favors. Definitely showing how both of these decks can miss beats at any given time. For sure, for sure. I'll retreat. And then I will bring Darkness for the knockout. All right. So I don't have a guaranteed Ogre Pond response. You I think can I still promote it. Stone. Oh, it's one retreat. Oh, my yeah. gosh. That's ridiculous. All Ogre Ponds have one retreat cost. Whoa. I just assumed it was a fighting type. Uh, I dropped <laughs> a turn. Yeah, fighting types do tend to have pretty high retreat costs. I think I'm good to bench an injury here. Uh, I guess I should technically nest ball. Mm -hmm. Nest ball before you fill your bench. Just take a peek. What's in there? What's this energy? Count grass, lightning, grass, grass. Okay. Yeah, the mist energy has very interesting applications here, provided I draw it, right? <laughs> it's like it, it is another energy for Rage yeah. Charizard. Okay, so I'll go ahead and bench the Radzard. Mm -hmm. I have... Oh, man, I really don't want to have the Raging Bolt here. That's so lame. So I'm going to Teal Dance, draw one. Okay, that's actually a really good draw. So I can retreat mm -hmm. into my Ogre Pond. That lets me get two energy on my Sada for these two. Yep. Ooh. So, lightning and fire. Don't shuffle my discard. Mm -hmm. um, I draw three. And if I get the grass here, we're good. If not, dang it. I drew into switch card. Man, this is so much energy, though. So, we are sucks. not good. <laughs> yeah. So, I have to burn five energy. Golly. <laughs> uh, and I definitely just get rid of the Ogre Pond energy. Though. Oh, yeah. I think it's the Ogre Pond energy. And, and then, then all three of these, probably. Mm. Oh, but then if you boss this, I lose. Right. <laughs> so I would say two and the lightning, probably. So that... Because you, do you still have one lightning in deck? I mean, it doesn't really Should. matter. But yeah, yeah. if you still have one lightning yeah. in deck, that's three fightings. Bellowing Thunder. All right. And now we just Iono you to win and hope things work. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so tough. I'll bench Charmander. Attach for a turn. Um, and then I will just quick search for Iono. Mm -hmm. uh, Iono way better than Roxanne here, so I'm glad I made that choice. I was thinking about it, and <laughs> it's like, well, putting you to two when you're taking a two-prize knockout, not a good idea. Sure. If you had hit the grass energy there, that would have been basically checkmate. Right, yeah. And I'm just totally fine almost no matter what. Right, because you have two Raging Bolts that can attack, and you're mm -hmm. attacking with the Ogre Pawn, so I still have to find boss to knock out one, and I can't knock out the other. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the Iona. I definitely wish this Enhanced Hammer was Temple of Sinnoh in this matchup, just because... It's a card that I can play out right. of my hand instead of a card that does nothing. Um, it's safe to evolve the Charizard here. I will choose not to use it for Infernal Rain. Okay. Uh, because I like the cards that are still in my deck. Uh, let's Beaver for two. And I also don't have any fire energies left. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, retreat. And then I'll use Combustion Blast for Knockout. I should have attached Charm last turn. Mm -hmm. I did not think about this. I had to rub this. Oh, this is so bad. I just lose, though. If you, if I don't hit this turn, which I'm probably not. <laughs> That's not necessarily true. You Don't you just... Uh, you guess I've you already played cards. my cancel yeah. I believe. Yeah, you did. Yes. So you have to boss and get out of the active. Mm -hmm. Which is possible, because I still have Kieran Countercatcher. Draw for turn. But... Seal cards. I 
actually got there. You haven't? Yeah. You got the prime <laughs> catcher? Uh, no. So I do this. Oh, you have the attachment for turn. Yeah. Draw three. Yep. Attach for treat. Bellowing Thunder for yes. 210. Uh, Iano is alive. <laughs> Surprisingly close game, though. Yeah, yeah. Really interesting. I think yeah. that was a good demonstration of things to think about in this matchup that and turn, uh, I, uh, experimental lines to take. That turn, if you missed that, I did have Kieran yeah. plus counter catcher. Yeah, so I was just going to get cooked. I, I had a feeling. You only need like one piece, so as long as you just get the other one off Fidget, yeah. you're probably there. And your hand, you had a big hand at that point, yeah. too. Definitely so. showcasing like the potential power of Kieran in the Zard list. Kieran's right? really scary and really good. Yeah, as soon as that became a thing I had to be aware of, it completely changed how I try to approach game two, and it still was like very sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Also, my disruption cards definitely didn't disrupt you very well, that's for sure. Unfair Safe well, and Iono both put you into some very good cards. Yeah, that is a part of the joy of this deck is just you have so many things on your board that can just draw you more cards. Oh, yeah. Pokestop's really good in this deck, all this stuff. Uh, yeah. I can definitely see why it's such a strong contender for NAIC. Well, I got two of the top four slots at the Japanese Championship, uh, whatever it's called, Jap the Japan Championships, yeah. yeah. And then, yeah, I think the fact that Zard can have a good matchup into this deck... As long as you have some sort of counter for the Cornerstone, Corner Stone, whatever Corner. this thing's called, <laughs> Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond. Yeah, as long as you have a counter for that, I, I do think Cologne's probably the cleanest thing. Yeah, because you're not ever starting Cologne, so that's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> yeah. uh, and you can burn it in whatever matchup. It's an extra B barrel card. Right. I think in this list, I would probably want to find room for Defiance Band. For sure. For um, sure. only having Kieran as a damage modifier definitely feels pretty bad, especially in this matchup. Maybe you can at least recycle it with Palapad, which is cool. This is true. Um, I would definitely leave the Kieran and the Palpat in there. Those cards are still very, very good. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think people are definitely underlooking Charizard. It seems like a good play. I, I do think it'll have some decent representation at NAIC because I think a lot of people are, are probably just going to play it because they're comfortable with it from Absolutely. playing it from last format. And the way the format's kind of shaked out, it, uh, people were initially very scared of playing in Japan because Dragapult was dominating, and then this deck comes around and then uh, kind of hurts the Dragapult dominance. Yeah. So Charizard is a place again in the meta. Uh, we saw some people do pretty well with it at the Japan Champions, uh, Championships. So uh, definitely both seem like very good plays for NAIC. Um, yeah. But I think it's going to be it for this showcase of these two decks and this matchup. Sky, where can people find you after this? Any uh, shout-outs you want to do? Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter at Skyline01. That's S-K-Y-L-O-N-01. Um, you will usually find me posting either deck lists or... Um, Pokemon related ideas there. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to shout out my team, Girl Power TCG. Um, definitely a very great community uh, representing a very good cause uh, in uh, the overall Pokemon TCG space. Uh, and of course, my testing group, who helps me figure out these lists and <laughs> ensures that I am always prepared for events. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sky, for joining us. If you want to see more of these tabletop videos, and if you want to see more Sky, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and uh, let us know what other matchups you want to see in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.